accepting a gender-neutral award, and then the police force and a primary school in North London decided to also embrace gender-neutral uniforms. So after the, over the past week, Good Morning Britain has been inundated about questions about those who classify themselves as neither male nor female, people like Fox and Owl who join us this morning. Uh, it's something which, as you know, has got peers very exercised. As it is something that, frankly, others of us find quite confusing. So let's have a look back on our gender debate so far. Gender neutral award shows. That's what the world has come to. You can be gender neutral, you can be polygender, you can be a two spirit <laughs> person. A little person arrived. Mm. Did you have a boy or girl? Don't be so offensive. I had a person. The Queen can't be called the Queen anymore. No. She'd have to be called what something is the else. Mother? Can't wait for the Oscars, can you? Best person in a leading role. Can't we just have male and female police officers anymore? Why should the police be pandering to a tiny, tiny proportion of the country who decide they don't want to be called man or woman? My grandmother said, little boys of your age should be kept in a cage and fed of a tool to a hole in the wall. <laughs> she had it right. I might wear a skirt to work tomorrow as part of my new gender-neutral, non-binary uh, identity. Be a woman. Disappointingly, Piers didn't wear a skirt to work. Well, today. no, because I realised it wouldn't be gender-neutral. I would obviously be leaning towards being female. And we can't have that in the modern world. So, uh, Fox Fisher and Al, you don't have a surname, Al? Uh, I do. It's Jonstotter, an Icelandic surname. Fine. Let's keep it yeah. Al. Yeah. Um, you're both non-binary. Yes. Neither male nor female. I know I'm treading on eggshells here, so let's first of all welcome. Thank you. I appreciate and you coming thank in. Thank you for coming in. Because, yes. thank frankly, you. this is, as our viewers will know, this is an, ex is, uh, an issue exercising peers uh, with, with great sort of vigour and passion. It is also something that many of us feel really confused about. We want to be sensitive about it. It, it is confusing. Fox, I can't even say, can I, that you were born a certain gender because you disagree with the idea that you were born either male or female. Well, I say, I say you were born... What were you born? Can I answer, Piers? Yes. Absolutely. So I was assigned female at birth, and it's perfectly okay to say that. What does that mean, assigned female? So it means that when I popped out, and my sister's having a C-section today, actually, so we're oh, going oh, to have luck. a discussion. <laughs> yeah. Is she having a, has it been assigned yet? Well, that's yeah. the first thing people ask, isn't it? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Yeah. yeah. And this is an opportunity. My book comes out tomorrow. Yeah. Are you a boy Thank or you are you a girl? Thank you very much. Are you a boy or girl? I'm very much Enjoy a it, boy. Um, but let's get back to you, Fox. So you were born... A... So I was assigned female at birth. So you were born a girl? I never felt truly comfortable in my own body, and so I really struggled throughout my, my teenage years, my, the wrong puberty as I was going through that, I felt more disconnected with myself. I was really confused with, uh, you know, whether I fit into this world, mm -hmm. and I took steps eventually to start to transition, but as I did that, I realized that I was going from one set of expectations to another set of expectations as well, because there's extreme expectations for men and women in this world. Mm -hmm. And I thought, so what, it's so all what, about authenticity. Have you, had, have you had a full transgender operation, or what have you had? Well, it's not really about that. Mm -hmm. as, uh, you know, it's about gender identity versus gender expression. So my gender identity yeah. is non-binary, and my gender expression is more masculine. So I hope that clears it up It doesn't clear it up bit. at all for me. So I, I might be the stupid one here. Mm -hmm. what, what are you now? What, what do you call yourself? What am I? So I yeah. define as non-binary. What does that mean? That means that I identify as neither male or female fully. Mm -hmm. And these identities are recognised in other countries like New Zealand, Australia, Malta and other places. What's on your passport? At the moment on my passport it says male, actually. Right, so, because you had the transgender operation? Because, well, you don't, actually don't need to have a trans operation to have male on your passport. Okay. You can be recognised as that either. I didn't know well, that. Oh, so. you yeah. had... Uh, what some people might consider the complete opposite yeah. experience. Yeah. So when you were born... Yeah. I was assigned male at birth. Uh, Who and assigned I, you? Uh, the doctor. doctor when I was born, basically. But what about your parents? You know, every, when you are born, people perceive you as male or female well, no, based I mean, on your genitals. Right, and, but yeah. it's not a it's completely irrational thing to do, is no, it? Because, not at all, no, of course no. Because 99.999% of the entire planet is quite happy to be called boy or girl. Yeah, of course. You, you accept that? Yeah, I, I your accept parents, that most people Did your do parents that, yes. wait for the doctor to assign you, or did they say, oh, we've got a... 
It's a boy. system that's in our society that has been made up. But did so they much. say, we've got a little boy, or did they wait for the doctor to say, your assignation is that your child is... Well, I well, don't recall agrees. that moment myself. <laughs> I can't right. really say what happened that moment, but, you know, they say okay. this is a boy or and this then is you, a girl. And then you felt you were also... And by the way, I completely respect people who feel like they have been born in the wrong sex. I get that. I completely support all transgender rights. I think that it's a huge deal to go through what you guys go through, and I totally respect it and yeah. would want total equality for you. So let's just Thank put you, that Dennis. on the table. Okay? That's very kind. It's an important clarification. My confusion comes with the gender neutrality right. aspect of this, because right. to me, you were born a boy, and I know you don't like that term, but you were born a boy, and you've become a girl, now a woman, but you dispute that. You don't think you are a woman. No, because I think there's very strong ideas about what it is to be a man and a woman in our society, and those ideas are entirely socially constructed. The thing we expect of women and men to do, and as a trans person who's been perceived as a man for the most part of my life, who transitioned, I noticed how people perceive you differently in these expectations. We, we can't call you he or she, just to clarify one thing, right? You could call us they, that would be fine, singular, plural. But sing when you say they, they, I mean they is a plural word. It's, more than it's one actually person. a sing yeah, it's, you can actually use it as a singular pronoun. Nobody does, do they? I mean, it's my of point course you do. If you don't know someone's uh, gender, you would say, well, where are they? Or I hope they win the competition or something like that. But I so, can't say, like, she said something. I have to say, they said something. You could say they or you could say ours. So says they that. said something to they? To them. To them. Sorry. They said something to them. Yeah. Right. Does that mean. Rather than. She. She yeah. said something to him. Him. Yeah. Is that because you feel like you're two genders? at the same time? No, it feels because I sort of denounce the idea of being a man or a woman, so a non-binary is an identity on its own outside of this binary of... But there are 71 different current Facebook ways of identifying your gender, mm -hmm. including two-spirit person, gender fluid, and all sorts of other stuff. Do you categorize well, yourselves as any one of the 71? Well, it's wonderful to have all those different identifications. Is it, or is it just a I load think of it muddies the waters a little bit. Gobbledygook. I mean, it's not seriously. Gobbledygook. You've got to respect what people want to be called, but why do I have to help? Why do I have to? Because it's about being respect, living in the world. and it's about respect. If I turn around right now and I said to you, I am a black woman. You have said that. You said what? Well, you said you're black non-binary, haven't you? Well, Which I made a joke yesterday, but I'm being actually partly serious. If I just decided to identify myself as a completely different skin colour to the one that I am, that would clearly be ridiculous, right? The thing is that you don't. Here. No, but if I did, would you respect my right to identify myself how I choose? We're not here to talk about race, we're here to talk but about But I'm gender. asking you about race. So I'm taking your logic to it its logical conclusion. It doesn't really change anything about I'm my just life, your, about how I'm another asking, person identifies. Asking, you, so would, you can identify in any way that you I'm want. Just asking, you totally I it doesn't change how we identify. I'm just asking a simple question. If I just now identify as a black woman, would you both absolutely think that's fine? But you don't. This is an hypothetical I just thing did. and you don't. I just did. You're just doing it for the sake of the I'm argument. I'm doing it as a hypothetical to get your response to a logical extension to the argument that you can basically identify in any way you, you choose. You can, you can. The problem is that this is a hypothetical intellectual it. discussion for you, but, but yours this is, is about a our actual this is a No, but yours this is, is hypothetical day, too. Just a you segment. want the right... Well, okay, so basically you want the rights to identify how you choose, and we, all have to, and we all have to respect that and now have non-binary awards and so on, but you do not want to afford me the same rights to give myself an identity of my choice. And that's my point about this. It seems to be a hypocrisy and inconsistency. There's no hypocrisy. If you truly want to identify in that way, you can, you but I know that you don't. don't. But would you respect my right to I call myself a black woman? I respect anyone's right to identify I'm serious. Can I call myself a black woman? Can I identify as that? Can I put it, you know, can I say I'm now a black woman? Or do you, or it's a serious well, I'm, point. I'm, I'm is, race, well, is race different to gender? I would say it's a completely different okay. discussion okay. animal. Of course you would, because it suits your argument to say that. No, but, but it is. Right, it but is. it's all about self-identity. And my issue with this is you've now got, I told the story, a friend of mine has a, a girl at school, and eight girls in her year are now non-binary, right? Mm -hmm. So schools are now running riot with kids They're who... are running riot. Yes, they are on. running riot. When it's eight kids in one year in one school in this country, it means it's now like a contagion, it's not contagion. of young kids <laughs> who no longer want to be classified. It's not a disease. Well, a <laughs> contagion could be like something that spirals around. Well, that's what they said about homosexuality 20 years ago. It's completely like different to homosexuality. Then why is race and gender suddenly because something you're, you Because you want to be non-gender, non-binary. No, the, not non-gender. Gender, well, what's the difference? Well, you keep talking about gender neutrality, and yeah. it's not like I go around telling people that I'm gender neutral. There's, there's no lack of, of anything. I just define as non-binary, so I, I, I refuse 
to to be to, to identify love. myself as male or female. Can or I, as man or I a just woman. wonder if we can? Because it's obviously you know it's it's been a big subject on our program. Yeah. It gets a huge response whenever we talk about it. I know this interview will generate a lot of comments. Yeah. And we admire you coming on to debate this No, we do. I do. It, you know, and it is a really important debate to have. I just wonder how many people it affects. I just think that non-binary issues aren't going to go away. So it's either you get on board or, you know, we end but up But get looking... on board with how many, how many people are we... T in terms of a proportion of the population... We don't know. The That's the thing. You know, a lot of people... You know, what does non-binary look like? That's We're here to kind of show you that actually gender expression and gender identity are two different things. Mm. And non-binary people aren't just okay. wearing paper bags. Let me give you another you know. hypothetical. Yesterday we interviewed a, a guy from a police force in Northampton. They've gone gender neutral, made a point of saying that. Um, I said to him, OK, what about if criminals decide to be gender neutral? And so when they're convicted, mm -hmm. they do not want to be put in a male or female prison. Do we now have to build prisons for non-binary criminals? It's a very interesting question. What's the Actually, answer? I don't know if I have the answer to that. You would presumably encourage them to have... Because they can't be put in a male or female prison, right? Well, if I went to prison or Al went to prison, what would happen? Well, where would you, where would you be put? Where we would you... be, I would be put in a female prison because of my gender marker and my passport. Right, but would you be happy about that? More than going to a male prison, for sure. Right. So, actually, you don't mind being gender fine if it's convenient. We exist in a very binary world, you know, so we have to... If it was up to us, obviously but we But you wouldn't. see, the, point, the worry I have about this, and it's all based on confusion, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. uh, and just trying to get my head around. Of course. I'm, I'm happy right. to be persuaded if it makes logical sense. Yeah. Sure. My problem with everyone just being free to identify themselves in any way they choose is where does that end? Where, do they, where are any boundaries for kids, for instance, at school? If you could basically come in and say, I'm not a boy or girl anymore, what else can you say you're not? You know, if I identify now as anything, is, it, is, is anything fine? I mean, can it's, I be anything I want? Can I be an elephant? Can I, I literally, <laughs> literally say, I'm now an elephant? And I, do I get afforded <laughs> elephant rights? Can I go to London Zoo? Silly. I don't, I don't Sorry, think it's well, I know you think it sounds silly, but no. I'm taking your argument. I like, real... Can I go to London Zoo and demand to be put the in an elephant compound? Is... Because I have decided yeah. I'm an elephant. The real question should be... Why is it that 48% of trans youth are attempting suicide? And I think we need to look into that. How many because people, this is a real thing. Okay, how many trans youths in Britain last year committed suicide? I can't tell you that. It's like a, I can find out for you. I heard it's like two or three people. Which two is, or three people. It's incredibly... That's what I heard, right? Is that true or not? Well, I'd say that that's definitely not true. Well, that's just a statistic I read. I don't know if that's true or not. My point about it is this. However terrible for those people, anyone who commits suicide, it's awful, right? We all accept that. But the idea that the entire gender of the planet has to be changed because a very tiny percentage of people have decided... No. Yeah, but it's it's not, this isn't just a modern phenomenon no. as well. It's important to look at other cultures, and indigenous it's not about, cultures. Sorry, sorry it's I'll not about her. erasing gender. Nobody's saying that people cannot be men or women. Exactly. We're saying that people can also be non-binary and gender why, needs why to be so, what, what about the names, Fox and Al? <laughs> Well, okay, so for me, Fox was my drag king name. So before I transitioned, I would dress up and, and perform. Okay. And that was a way to, to kind of realize... It was, it was about and experimenting Al? with myself. Oh, it's a translation of my Icelandic name, which is Ugla, and it means Al. Well, do you know what? Mm. I admire you for coming in. Mm. I, I think it is really important that these discussions It's an are ongoing held. conversation, it I think. It absolutely sure. is. And I know. It's, um, a it's a real thing. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. It's happening now all over Britain. Yeah. Yeah. Schools are very, very fast moving with a lot of kids now wanting to be non-binary. Please, let I am us concerned fear about it. Please stop fear mongering. I because think it's it doesn't a help. I, yeah, but my problem is that actually it's a massive new fad and we're going to end it's up with fad. half You'll the kids... You'll realise it's not a fad, Piers. Well, no, I think for a lot of people it is, though. You're not telling me that eight kids in one year at one girls' school okay. in this country suddenly woke up that. and said, we feel non-binary. The They've heard you guys talking less. about being non-binary. They think it's cool. It's not about being cool, it's, it's about an cool. inner sense of self and an identity you that you identify with. You think eight girls in one year at a girls' school eight just non in people one month in one school, all suddenly decided we want, we want to be non-binary? Well, whatever it is... Why can't they? What does I it change? It's, it's what does it change? The way I, had the what discussion that about it what, this how morning, does it affect have... your life and what they do? Do you, I... do you abide by the laws of the land? Seriously. <laughs> what does that mean? I try to. Do you abide sure. by the... Do you, do you recognise there are laws and boundaries in society? Where are you going with this, Piers? You know where I'm going with this? Go on. Isn't, isn't gender a societal thing that we should just respect and acknowledge that that's the way it is? 
isn't everything that's subject to change and what, what could maybe you might be right and that's exactly what we're trying to say you need to respect people's gender yeah. and their identity and we're going to have to identify. hugely change this program unless i bring this to an end but fox and al thank you very fox much and al, indeed, thank you great to see you it is good to uh, see it's you it's a really fascinating it. fascinating read debate. the book it's for three-year-olds and plus so it should be okay. good for you Piers. Seven... are you a boy or are you a girl <laughs> it's a very or... binary title yeah. but uh yeah yeah okay it's it's an introduction you have a lot of stuff on youtube i have to leave this discussion to continue because andy's here with the competition Good morning.